the coolest fish that swims. Prehistoric killing machine. Got him, got him, got him, big one, big one, big one. Got him, big one, big one, big one, yes! yes! Got him. Got him, oh my gosh, giant, giant. Oh my gosh. Yes! Yeah! Woo! Dude, that is a giant. Wow. I finally got a big one. What is up, guys? Welcome to another dog hunt. So far, not successful this year catching a dogfish. Out with my dad today, and we're trying a different tactic for dogfish. You guys in the comments have said uh, we have to try this way. For dogfish, huh? Dad, you want to reel up what, what you got there? We got some minnows. Yeah, uh, apparently dogfish cannot turn down minnows. So is what we have heard. Kind of know where some are, so we're going to go pop those minnows on top of them and uh, hopefully catch some doggies here. thought today was going to be not windy at all, but sure enough, it is windy. So I don't know. The top water thing might not go so hot. Could calm down in the evening. That's what we hope. But hey, we got live bait. You should be able to catch some. Oh gosh. Got him, got him. Come on. That's gotta be a doggy. Oh, it feels good, man. We'll get out of the net for you. <laughs> Oh boy. Or it's a pike. What do I got? That is a pike. <laughs> uh, I've, you know, dogfishes don't aren't that aggressive when they hit a bait. So I man, part of me thought it was gonna be a a pike, but hey, we got the first fish of the day out of the way. Ah man, that would have been way too good to be true. Okay, Mr. Pike joined us for today. Oh boy, got him, got him, got him. Got him! That's a dog, that's a dog, that's a dog, that's a doggy. Oh, oh no, come on, stay on, baby. That's a doggy. Where are you gonna go with him? Right. I gotta keep my rats in town. Come on. There he is. There he is. There he oh, is. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one, Dad. Dad, that's a big one. You got him, man. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a tank. Oh. That's a tank right there. Wow, that's probably my heaviest one. Holy cow, that's crazy. Nice job. Wow, that was awesome. Let's go. Let's unhook him. All right, folks, first dogfish of the season and it's a big one might be my biggest i don't know i mean i don't know it's got a gut on it but we'll see if uh, first one i'm looking at all year so hard to say oh my gosh look at that thing Woo. first doggy <laughs> of the year and it is a nice one holy cow man i miss this this species it's such a cool thing wow no crazy markings on them but look at that head it's just armor just armor. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Man, look at the tail. Like these things are so flipping cool. Let's get a measurement on one. Let's just see what we're looking at here. Don't freak out. Oh my gosh. 29 incher to start the year. Holy cow. And it's a fat one too. Wow, that's just awesome. Let's get this big girl back. Holy cow. Look at that fish. Such a mean animal. All right, that fish is released. Unfortunately, we didn't have any cameras running. Um, so if you watch underwater footage, that fish actually just dropped to the bottom. And then moments later, we see the thing on the surface gulping air. That is how cool this fish is. It literally can breathe air. The thing came back up, gulped air, and then now it's gone. That is this wild um, combo that we're using for dogfish this year. If you dogfish, you're gonna wanna buy a bunch of frogs, but let's go through the setup here. We've got a Shimano Bantam as a reel this year. This thing is indestructible, it's a tank. 
setting the hook on that first giant dogfish of the year. That felt good. Um, it's a high gear 150 size, super small, but indestructible. Got this on a 7.2 Corrado Heavy, which is kind of light for a bass rod, but something lean I've been thinking about is that, I don't know, you kind of want that whip in your rod to, to get those hooks in. A little bit of play, and then I've got a destroyed frog right here. It is not going to get resurrected. That hook is completely bent. Frog is completely destroyed, but it was actually a new frog that we used. Look at that, just destroyed. These things are incredible. All right, so this is where dogfish will leave you. My hook is over here. My my frog is up on the line. My leader's all crazy. Yeah, yeah, these things are no joke. That was crazy. How can the first dog of the year be that big? That's so cool. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to resurrect this thing, but this is a new frog I used for today. It is called the Toad Runner Junior. Little difference, got a little kicking tail on the back, and I don't know. Obviously that dog liked it. Didn't take long for him to be destroyed. And of course, this is the only one of that frog. And it got crazy windy also, so I don't know. I guess maybe they don't mind the wind. Keep that pressure, man. Off. That had been one, huh? Yeah. It certainly sounded like. I'm still trying to deal with my frog here. No. Oh, that's a dog, dude. That's a dog. That's a dog. Or a pike, I don't know. It's, it's a nice Ooh. thing. It's a pike. Oh. <laughs> a nice pike, though. Oh, yeah, Dad. Oh. Up, up, up. Awesome. Oh. You got her. <laughs> Woo. See, that's the thing about <laughs> dog fishing. It's top water fishing, and you never know what you're going to get. That's nice. Ooh, that's a nice gator. Woo. <laughs> uh, Look at that chunky guy. That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Okay. oh go. Yeah, we're going to go. There we go. <laughs> It's oh. a nice little gator there. Yeah. We were so convinced of that that thing was a dog, but that's the thing. You think everything's a dogfish when you go for these for this species, but I don't know. The fish keep biting top water, so that's awesome. Okay. We've been staring at this back spot all day long. I don't know, there's some swirls back there, noticing a lot of activity back there. I don't know, it could be the dog house, I don't know. But that's the thing about dog fishing. There's so many spots, so many unique areas that you can get into. And, oh, it's just so much fun, so much fun. It's a dog! Nope. Nope. <laughs> okay. Not a bad one. I'll grab that one. The way it came at it. Really? Yeah, you know, kind of on the surface. Yep. Right. We... Hey, <laughs> right. nice gator Look on top that. water. Look at that. All That's right. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Got him, whatever it is. Another gator, nice one. Nice one, no. <laughs> Man, they are fun. That one's cool. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Liked it, liked it. <laughs> yeah. Well, our secluded little channel has a bunch of gators. No dogs, but <laughs> nice gators. All right, folks, it is 6.37, and it's time for a little spot change. I'm gonna head to a different spot bed. It's gonna be a little bit calmer. Should set up just perfect for sunset but either way we got a giant dogfish in the boat and hey first dogfish of the year how can you beat that finally got the monkey off the back feels good now we can only go up and up from there but who knows maybe this new spot will have some more dogfish finally a successful dog hunt finally got one in the boat so that was very cool Thank you, Dad, for <laughs> no, netting that for you. me. That was great. Oh, no, that was that was crazy. Yeah, so that was yeah. that was very cool. Um, can't beat dogfish. Uh, the the thrill is back. Finally saw that big wake, eat everything. So cool, guys. Thank you so much for commenting the last month about how much you guys wanted to see dogfish. It was a struggle for us to get out and and uh, try to get them. So 
We're here. It's July. Oh, it's so fun. I love these things. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, the record is what is it? 13 pounds yeah. and one ounce, I think, something yeah. like that. Very doable record. Uh, guys, please send us pictures of some giant dogfish you, you catch this season. We love looking at them. And uh, if you guys get the record, Wisconsin State record, please let us know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next video soon.